If you look at my community tab here on our YouTube channel, and it's something you guys should check all the time. We make posts of, you know, different announcements that we have, for instance, the Kenya trip, you know, we still have some spots available that came up. If you guys would like to go, I think about two or three more spots left. So if you go through the community tab, you can get that information or, you know, if we are going to be anywhere, just make sure you check this. Well, the other day we posted about this particular story that we're going to do now out of Zimbabwe and the people in Zimbabwe have a lot of issues going on. You remember we kind of covered uh, some unrest that was going on in Zimbabwe. The government decided to spend $155,000 on something that is number one, extremely ridiculous. Number two is extreme self hate. Number three is something that the whole world will laugh at. You may ask, what are you talking about? The wigs that we put the picture up that they're wearing. Now these wigs, when I did my research is made out of a hundred percent horse hair, hundred percent, nothing synthetic, no human hair involved straight from the horse. This one has come from, they make it out of England. Okay. Now you may say why they got that ridiculous mess on their head. What's going on with that? They used to be colonized by the British and in their courts, they were wear that colonization, you know, look that they had back in that time period. So after the colonizer was gone, they continued the traditions of the colonizer. So you got people, my color and darker putting on blonde horse hair spending over 155,000 us dollars. Now their standard wig run about 600 bucks and the wigs that you saw, the one the judges were wearing is about $3,200 for a judge's ceremonial wig. Now they ordered 64 horse hair wigs. This is utterly ridiculous, ridiculous. I mean, this is a sin and a shame. And look, let me tell you my brother and sister something from Zimbabwe. Cause I know when I start speaking about different things in the continent, y'all get real bothered by that. Let me tell you something. This is called tough love. Okay. If your family throughout the diaspora can't tell you nothing, then nobody should be able to tell you nothing. Okay. Let's call it what it is. We all over the world got to separate ourselves from the colonizer in mind, in deed, within our hearts. We have to separate ourselves also from that false idol, white Jesus. And you wonder why we deal with the things that we deal with. Didn't the scriptures teach that idols is against God and he told us not to worship any idols. That white Jesus figure is an idol. If you look at the Bible, what does it say in revelation? Hair like wool, skin of burnt bronze. That's what the Bible said. And it's saying about that picture that you see running around here and they used to colonize the world. So you have people who educated themselves. I mean, look at these pictures, ladies and gentlemen, you don't look in the mirror, brothers and sisters and say, what the hell I got on my head. You have pure horse hair on your head, pure horse hair. They admitting it comes from the horse, no synthetic hair, no human hair, straight horse hair. I mean, you want to be authentic. Does it come with lice? Because you, if you study their history, you know, they didn't believe in taking too many baths. At one point in time, they believed that lice was the pearls of God. Do you get you with lice too? I mean, come on, black people all over the world. We got to stop all this. This is utterly ridiculous. And you know what? Y'all need to be called out for this a hundred percent because we are sick and tired of black folks being the laughing stock of the world. You know how much you people are laughing at you. They're making all this money off of you. You should take 155,000 US dollars that you could have invested into your people and send it off to get a 64 horse hair wigs. So you can run around here looking like a uh, Lysy McFly with those wigs in your head. That, that looks so stupid. You have lawyers and rights groups stated that they was very, very pissed off at the mismanagement of funds and rightfully so that they don't need to be wearing that mess on their heads. Now you had a journalist and to make sure I read this journalist's name by the name of Hopewell Chinono. Okay. And they stated that you spending 155,000 us dollars on blonde horsehair wigs when your people need bandages and betadine for infants in pediatric wards. 
So instead of giving the money to your people, you go sit up there and go give it to them. The people that colonize you. Okay. The West still has sanctions on you because they were pissed off that you overthrew Rhodesia because Mugabe is gone. You think, oh, well, cause Mugabe, the sanctions are going to go away. And then when, when Managua came in, they still kept the sanctions up. Trump said he's not letting the sanctions up on y'all because they don't like taking an L from black people. That's what it is. It's the same thing in Haiti. Haiti got free of that colonizer. That's why they make, make Haiti suffer so much. That's why they hate Haitians. They can't stand Haitians. They like all the rest of them, but Haitians is just about the same boat as African Americans. Point blank. You know, they know the Haitians will fight back. The same thing with the people in Zimbabwe. You fought back, you got free through Robert Mugabe. He may not have been perfect, and y'all try to lie and say, oh, well, he kicked the white people out, and look what happened. Stop your lying, because what happened to Zimbabwe's economy was because of the West. They put sanctions, the U.S. and the European Union, on that country to cripple that country for no other reason to retaliate for black people getting free. If you're going to talk about Mugabe and talk about what happened to the economy of Zimbabwe, talk about it for real. So I'm coming up here with these little lies because you want to keep your foothold in African nations saying, that, oh, it's because they kicked the white people out. You're freaking liars. Tell the full story. But how is it that you being sanctioned for nothing, really? You're being sanctioned. You're not doing anything to nobody. And yet you're going to give these people all this money to put some horse hair in your head. Have some dignity. Have some self-respect, black folks. And then before, before you know, and I have to deal with the self-hating brothers here, because some of you going to come up, well, Phil, you, you're saying that about them, but what about the women here? Um, the hair extensions they're wearing? A lot of it come from human hair for one. It don't come from 100% horse hair. Two, I know what you're gonna say. They're trying to look like a white woman. No, we put this picture up. They're trying to look like the woman that you see there. More so like an Ethiopian or Eritrean. That's the kind of hair texture that they're going after. Not, not going after a white woman's hair. Tells me you ain't been around so many white women to know the difference with white women's hair versus someone from Eritrea or Ethiopia. Just saying, because you know, you always gotta have some Negroes coming in, trying to, trying to put their two cents in. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. But with this situation here, in these other countries, and they ain't just not uh, Zimbabwe, Kenya, you too. You, you looking ridiculous. Ghana, you do it too. Malawi, you looking ridiculous. Certain places in the Caribbean, you doing it too. Everybody, all y'all is doing it. If I didn't name your country, sorry. But you know who you are. Take that horse hair out your head. Take it out. You, you can't even get lice. And you putting some horse hair in your head with that mess and get some lice. Black people in America and throughout the world also have some pride and self-respect. I'm just saying in general with the self-hate. I'm not talking about the, the horse hair wigs. But on the continent, take that mess off. Burn that mess. Burn all of it. How you gonna go to school, become a lawyer, and become a judge? You gotta sit there and put horse hair on your head. Don't you feel like silly? Don't you feel that your dignity is worth anything? My God, you educated. Why are you being sent out to look like a clown? Because that's what you're looking like. You look like a clown. I gotta talk to you that way because that's what you're looking like. And I'm saying this out of love for you because when people don't love you, they don't tell you when you're wrong. We have to chastise each other. And it's just some chastisement from your brother throughout the diaspora, that's all. Get mad at me if you want, that's fine. But you can't justify spending this kind of money on some horse hair. You can't justify that when your children in your hospital don't have bandages and better dying to, in the pediatric wards. You can't justify that. You can't. So don't get mad at me and don't be saying, he's talking about my country. Y'all talk about America all the time. Y'all talk about what African Americans are doing too. We have to hear from y'all. You have to hear from us. Families have discussions. Families go back and forth. It happens. There's no hate. It's just tough love. You comment, let me know the thing about these particular wigs. I believe all of us should be calling out these countries, Kenya and uh, Zimbabwe, Ghana, Malawi, you know, certain ones in the Caribbean, run around these wigs on. They need to be called out. This needs to stop in 2019. What I'm asking is all content creators that care about the black community, do your own version of this video because they need that smoke. They need that pressure put on them 
because this is ridiculous. You can't be free running around here look, with, with horse hair on your head that's blonde.